the scientific revolution was a series of events that marked the emergence of modern science during the early modern period. It started in 1543 with the publication of Nikolaus Copernicus's The Revolution of Gasparmia and the last of the revolutions in the heavenly spheres, which increased tension between the Catholic Church and the intellectual reformists. Here are the five intellectuals and their revolutionary ideas. Please subscribe to 8TBP channel for future interesting videos. Number 1 Nicolaus Copernicus Nicolaus Copernicus was a Renaissance-era mathematician and astronomer, who formulated a model of the universe that placed the Sun rather than Earth at the center of the universe. After he circulated his book, there was no proof that Copernicus was concerned about whether or not he will be persecuted by the Church. In his heliocentric model, he placed the planets in increasing order from the Sun. However, the only problem of his model is that the stars cannot be positioned fixed. Although his theory was correct, the Church judged it as a heretic and banned the book's distribution and was ignored for the rest of the 16th century. Number 2 Charles Darwin Charles Robert Darwin was an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. His proposition that all species of life have descended over time from common ancestors is now widely accepted and considered a foundational concept in science. Darwin's life started to change when he joined a voyage by the HNS Beagle to the Galapagos Islands in South America. In 1589, he published the book The Origin of Species, which is considered to be one of the most important works in human history. This book presented evidences on how species evolved over time and presented traits and adaptation that differentiate species. In 1871, Darwin his second book The Descent of Man which introduced the idea of all organic life including human beings under the realm of evolutionary thinking. This changed the religious idea that man was placed by God in a special position among his creations. Darwin's accomplishments are significant to the modern scientific method that uses observation and experiment. His unorthodox way of investigations paved the way for evidence-based science. Number 3 Sigmund Freud Sigmund Freud was an Austrian neurologist and the founder of psychoanalysis, a clinical method for treating psychopathology through dialogue between a patient and a psychoanalyst. His psychoanalysis is an important observational method of gathering reliable data about humans' inner life. His psychoanalysis is a scientific study about the human mind and neurotic illness. According to Freud's model of the psyche, the id is the primitive and instinctual part of the mind that contains sexual and aggressive drives and hidden memories, the superego operates as a moral conscience, and the ego is the realistic part that mediates between the desires of the id and the superego. Number 4 Francis Bacon Bacon has been called the father of empiricism. His works argued for the possibility of scientific knowledge based only upon inductive reasoning and careful observation of events in nature. Most importantly, he argued science could be achieved by use of a skeptical and methodical approach whereby scientists aim to avoid misleading themselves. Number 5 Galileo Galilei Galileo was the most successful scientist of the scientific revolution, save only Isaac Newton. He studied physics specifically the laws of gravity and motion, and invented the telescope and microscope. Galileo eventually combined his laws of physics with the observations he made with his telescope to defend the heliocentric Copernican view of the universe in his 1630 masterwork, Dialogue on the Two Chief Systems of the World. Upon its publication, he was censored by the Catholic Church and sentenced to house arrest in 1633, where he remained until his death in 1642. Those are the five greatest revolutionists during the scientific revolution. They dedicated their lives for the enlightenment of humanity and enrichment of scientific development. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button.